Okay, the last part before we actually turn uh, this machine on, uh, we got to hook up all the, uh, the cables to the peripherals. Uh, got to hook it up to the net. Um, this is probably not the best viewing angle. Uh, I'm gonna try to accommodate it here so maybe it works a little better. Um, cables are rather short. But, and my head might get in the way. Okay, I'm gonna start off by hooking up the uh, the DVI cables all the way at the bottom. I have two DVI cables. One of them uh, goes to my monitor. Uh, this one right here that I'm connecting now uh, goes over to my uh, 42 inch Toshiba that I have behind me. In case I like to watch any movies or anything, I can always turn on that screen. Okay, this is an Ethernet cable. Uh, this motherboard has uh, two Ethernet ports. Um, you can use one as the uh, input to your, uh, use it as an input for the network. The other one, uh, usually you can use it as a file server, so, um, or like a, a hub, if you will. Next, install my audio cables. Uh, nothing fancy. Just output, microphone input. Um, this right here, however, I have it hooked up to a home theater system. This is an SPDIF cable. And that goes in there like so. Okay, next, a okay, series of USB cables. Actually, this one doesn't really need to get hooked up because I'm not using this battery backup. Okay, that right here. So let's go ahead and hook this one up. Hook this up. That up. And the last, but not least, most importantly, the power cable and I need to make sure the power. I think I just turned it off. Okay, now it's on. Back into place. Now let's go turn on this computer. Next, we're going to turn this machine on. Let's see our post. Trying to make sure everything's connected. As you can see, I have Windows 7 on this computer. Not by choice. I'm a Linux man myself. And there you have it.